All right, we have a Ruger Max 9. Just picked it up a couple days ago um, at uh, HD Arms in Henderson, Nebraska. Go check them out. And uh, yeah, new gun out on the market just the last couple weeks. So uh, wife wanted to get a compact for a hopefully to get her concealed carry sometime this year and uh yeah we're gonna test it running out it is running the it is not the pro version it's just the regular version but it does have the fiber optic sight that is tritium it does glow in the dark and we are running the 10 round magazines and i believe that comes standard i think if you want the 12s i think you have to get them so, but they did not have any on hand since they just got these in. So, all right. Let's go ahead and try her out. Go ahead and move up to the line, sweetie. Up to the board. What? Up to the board. If you wanted to try it, just getting started up. I don't want to go any closer than this. Okay, that's fine. All right. Just take your time, sweetie. Nice! First shot! Alright, let's go take a look at it real quick, see where she hit. Yep, that definitely would have been in the old boiler maker. That somebody would have been dead. So uh yeah, that would have been a that would have been a kill shot for sure. So uh first impressions on your first shot, sweetie, how did the gun feel? Did it how the recoil feel to you? Uh, the recoil wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I uh, could probably tell in the video that I was shaking a little bit because I was nervous. No. <laughs> yeah, first shot, first shot. Um, but first impression, first shot, definitely something that any woman can shoot. Okay, awesome, so. awesome. All right, well, go ahead and let's try a couple more shots. And was it uh, shooting right where you were aiming at then? Yeah. Or pretty close? As close as my shaky hands would let me. Okay, well, <laughs> got the first shot jitter out of the road, so hopefully uh, uh, you get used to this pretty quick. So, and just to let everybody know, uh, my wife's not a big shooter, but she does know how to shoot guns. So, uh, yeah, she can definitely defend herself if need be. So, but there's something new. So, uh, all right, well, let's try it some more. All right. <laughs> what do we think, hon? Do you like that? Yeah. It would be something a little difficult to keep shooting unless you've got some really good wrist strength. But it's not bad. I mean, it's a 9 mil. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not a 380 or a 32 or something like that. It's you know it's a, it's a nine millimeter in a compact, so it's going to have some recoil. So, but all right, let's keep going. Nice. Oh, don't know where that one went. 
Nope. That's all right. That's that's just one shot missed out I of the. I had something in my eye. Oh, you did? Uh, no, not that. I just I've got something in my. Oh, eye. an eyelash or something? Okay. All right. So. Uh, so I blinked really weird and I missed. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, I don't know how many more rounds you got. I kind of, I wasn't counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's got a couple more. So, all right, let's continue. Shit. That's all right. Nope. Take it. Last one. No, nope, last one. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, what do you think? I think I need some practice with it, but I think overall it's going to be a really good gun. Um, the sights are really easy to see where I'm trying to shoot. Um, it's pretty lightweight. The recoil isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I don't think I'd be able to keep it up for a long time without working on some of my strengths. Right. It's, and It is empty and unsafe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should probably not wave it around. Sorry. Um, no, that's all. I know it's empty, so... I don't know, but the internet doesn't know it's empty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and the internet, sorry guys, but the internet can be dumb sometimes. Um, this is true. I would be interested to see if I have time to practice with it, you know, what it's going to look like in a month versus today. Right. Well, we can do a follow-up video in a month or two and uh, just give everybody an update on how everything's going. So, um, but anywho, yeah, and this is something that I'm actually looking for a new compact carry because I do have a CCW. So, uh, the next video you see, um, I will probably be trying it out. One other thing to reload these, Pat has to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get her the, uh, the uh, little helper system that goes on top. I can't remember the name of it right offhand, but I know it fits Glocks and a couple of other things. I just can't remember the name of it right offhand. So, yeah. So, awesome. All right. Well, first impressions, good. So, uh, recommendations for women on this little gun? Oh, yes. Awesome. It is thin and small and lightweight enough that you could carry it in your purse you could carry it um appendix any, yeah, yeah appendix, appendix or back or, or, or back yeah or i mean if you want an open carry on your leg and also if you have like this awesome green bear coat like me you can just stick it in your coat pocket and no one's gonna know <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> it's awesome so okay all right well what's that uh I think we'll go ahead and finish this video out, and uh, everybody, thanks for watching. For watching. <laughs> Sounded like I said washing.